Welcome back, Sleeper Gang. We're looking at Ethereum Classic on the four hour time frame. So, right now, we did end up moving up. And, well, we are at pretty much a pivotal area. You can see that we clearly are finding resistance over here. Now, this actually might be a decent area to short. Um, now, however, should we end up breaking higher from here? Because even just looking at this on the four hour time frame, although we are finding resistance here, we are continuing to make higher highs, which I'll switch over in the 45 minute time frame now. Although not much higher highs, but you are making higher highs and higher lows for the most part. With the exception right here, you kind of had to change the character. You broke that little low right there, then you went up and pushed a higher high. So either way, uh, that being said, right now, like I said, potentially a good resistance area, good supply area. Uh, otherwise, if you do end up breaking through here, the next area that I would look for the upside where you potentially end up finding resistance would be consisting of about 1586 to 1582. Um, you have there, and then you also, if you want to look a little bit more beforehand, you could say 1556. And then let's say we were to actually just move fully on up from here. Then you're going to be looking once again for that 1758 to 1768. But we also would have to see whether or not this actually ends up holding as a higher low. You can still come back on down. Like I said, if you do end up coming back on down, I can't necessarily, I can't necessarily say anywhere in particular that I would think that it does. Um, maybe right on over here at about 1409 or 14 flat. Uh, you can even see on the screen that's kind of where the point of control is, at least from what we can see on the visible range. So overall, I guess what my point here is, we don't have any like market structure saying that we should necessarily end up reversing here, at least as of yet. Um, you are at a pretty decent level for uh, resistance and basically heading back on down for like shorting. So mixed bag, if you end up coming on up higher, look for 1556, then from there, 1582 to 1586 as resistance. And other than that, I mean, if you were to push higher, like I said, that would mean higher low. And then we push up higher. That means we should then theoretically see a higher high come to fruition. Potential resistance would be at that like 1758 to 1768 mark. Otherwise, if you were to push even higher than that, then you're looking back up to about $19. So other than that, none of this is financial advice. These are all just my thoughts and opinions. And you guys have a phenomenal day as always. Adios, muchachos.